Howdy gang. Today we're gonna to talk about the Zello app, spelled Z-E-L-L-O. It's available on iOS and Android. It's becoming a very, very popular app. It allows you to communicate with contacts that you set up on Zello as well as channels. And the channels make it very, very interesting because for instance, during hurricane rescue and relief efforts, Zello was very, very used by people to be able to coordinate rescues, to be able to say, I need to be rescued, to be able to help with supplies inbound and distribution. Uh, it's been a great way for people to come together and use voice, which is sometimes easier than texting, uh, and to be able to plug into certain communities that are set up on various channels. So download Zello, set up an account, and you'll notice that when you start up Zello, um, you really won't have anybody. Let me, let me go over here to this screen. So there is recents, contacts, and channels along the top. And channels are some of the channels that you're gonna be able to search for. Let me show you how to search for a channel real quick. You have options of find a channel, trending channels. And so right now, with some of the hurricanes uh, impacting the United States, some of those channels are gonna be right near the top. It should come up in just a minute. Sometimes it takes time and as the app gets busier and busier, um, sometimes you do see this take quite a while, or in fact, you might not be able to find any channels at all. So in that case, um, you'll maybe need to see some things on social media or other places posted that will let you know of some of the channel names. So you can see it's already taking, you know, 30 seconds to a minute for mine to come up. And again, that's because there are potentially hundreds of thousands or millions of people trying to use this and see some of the channels. So I'm going to skip that part for now. You may be able to get it to work fine later, but uh, you can find a channel by searching. So I'm going to search for the word Irma. That's a hurricane that's currently uh, getting ready to impact the United States. And it's going to come up with a bunch of suggestions for different Irma channels. And anybody can set up a channel. No channels found. What? The searching is broke. This is not good. Um, all right, let me search for the word hurricane and see if we get something returned. Hang on a sec. Well, their searching is not working. This is not good. Trending channels, it just worked. So here we go. Um, we have Harvey Mapping that's helping people get all around Hurricane Harvey, a channel that I'd set up a little while ago. Hurricane Irma, there it is. Look, 465 people on this channel. So if we go to that channel, in the upper right-hand corner, you can add it to contacts. See that little plus bar? Add it to contacts. There's a description here. You can see who set up the channel. You can see what it's about. Um, so if I add that to my contacts, I'll be able to tune into that channel, listen, and even talk if it's allowed on that channel. So we're gonna go back here to the main menu and we're gonna to go to channels. And let's see, I'm gonna choose the Cajun Navy. So you see here it says I'm disconnected under the Cajun Navy. There's also a power button to join the channel. Wish you could see my finger, but it's gonna turn blue. Do you see that little thing that's turning blue or white? That's me joining the channel. And if I join the channel, then I would have the ability to talk on the channel. If I drop down, I can invite some friends, I can mute the channel. Uh, what starts to get confusing is if you, if you listen to two, three, four, five different channels, sometimes it's difficult to know where the audio that you're hearing is coming from. So I'd suggest you start out just listening to a single channel and then grow from there and then switch channels. If you leave multiple channels on, uh, it's difficult. They, they, all the audio doesn't come at once, but what happens is you hear from one channel and then when there's a break in the talk, then the other channel comes in and it starts to become a little difficult to follow. So. Um, just suggesting that you join a single channel and go from there. There are lots and lots of channels to join and to be able to search from. And as you can see, the search function may be a little bit wonky depending on usage during hurricanes, during major events. Uh, you may find that it's not easy to search for a channel because their servers are overloaded. Contacts are where you have uh, individual people that you have met through Zello. It could be friends of yours that are on Zello and you can talk to people individually. So for instance, if I wanted to talk to, let's pick somebody here. If I wanted to talk to Tinleg, who is super, super helpful in the Harvey mapping issue, I would press that. I see his picture. And if I would press that microphone button in the middle, I would talk only to Tinleg. And if he's active on another channel, it might take a while for my message to get to him, a matter of seconds or however long the other thing that he's listening to is going on for. But just know that, that sometimes there can be, if the other person is listening to something currently, there can be a little bit of a delay. Um, 
So that's a little bit of an overview of Zello. A couple things to keep in mind is there might be channels that are moderator talk only, so you're not allowed to talk on the channel. Um, there are uh, times when things get really busy and you should be respectful of the channel, not talking too long if there is an event going on. Really listen for a while to understand what the content of the channel is about, what's happening on the channel before you were to talk. Um, during Hurricane Harvey rescue efforts, there were a lot of people that were installing Zello and were um, you know, saying, help me, help me, I'm at such and such, but they were on the wrong channel. They were on a dispatch channel that was just intended for dispatchers to be able to send out other citizens in boats to rescue people. So those people's calls to, you know, please help me, they were, again, on the wrong channel. They needed either to go to social media, they needed to go to uh, another channel that was intended for their info to get written down. The other thing that gets interesting during any sort of a, a rescue effort is that the channel can get too busy with talking. And then what dispatchers often will try to do is they'll have you send in an image. And here's how I want to, to show you how to send in an image. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to a channel. <clears throat> For instance, let's go to um, Harvey Mapping. I'm gonna join the channel, turn it on. And uh, there's a little camera icon. Are you talking about um, a text area? So, yeah, they're predicting like 0.25. So, that, so that's Dandy who's helping to route people. Um, She's actually in the United Kingdom. She's helping to route people all around Texas and Louisiana right now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to turn off the channel just so we're not hearing too much. But there's a little camera icon uh, right below the picture of the channel on the left-hand side of the screen. Um, click that and you could take a picture of something that you wanted to send into the channel. That's the way rescuers were asking you to please send in your information that needed to get in. Instead of everybody trying to talk at once, it allowed images to come into the channel and then anybody could scroll back and see the history of the images that had gone. Speaking of history, if you're on a channel or talking to an individual contact, Here's the thing to know. So on the upper portion of the screen, there's a little microphone that has a yellow underline. Just to the right of that is this screen right here. This is your history screen. You can go back and you can replay things from the past. So if you're listening on channel and somebody says something that you didn't quite get to write down, you wanted to hear again, you weren't sure you heard it right, go back to the history on that channel or with that contact and you can replay it by simply clicking on. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. All right. Test one, two. Testing to the Zello app, testing one, two, three. So you can see how that works with the history. So um, hope that helps. It can be a little confusing to get around at first, but if you just remember to always go back to that main screen by clicking in the upper left-hand corner, you have your recents, your contacts, and all of your channels. And I hope that's a little bit of a start to the Zello app. A very, very